Tonight on the night team, becoming a millionaire overnight might feel like it would solve most of life's troubles. But when the moment comes, most people end up terrified. So what really happens when your bank account gets suddenly big overnight? Haley Minogue learned more about the entire deal from the man behind the moment you become a millionaire. Expression on their face when they get out of the car and they see crews lined up on both sides, even though you've told them what to expect. You've told them what it's going to look like. There's still this, this is really happening. It's been a decade since a mistaken ticket led Rob Anderson and his wife Tuesday down this sidewalk and into the life of a multimillionaire. But you never know when that jackpot could hit again. So let's get prepared, you know, just in case. So we bring them in here, media on both sides. Media on both sides. So we bring them in. And now we take them to a room. Not many people have seen this before, but this is the winner's room where we keep them sequestered. Bring them in here. They have a seat and we start the process. These four walls have been where we have brought all of our winners of a million dollars or more in to start the process. That process includes paperwork, ticket validation, and then some hard talks. Hi everybody, I'm Chip Polston. Chip Polston's name has been synonymous with lottery for nearly 30 years now. He's part of the team that gives winners the talk on what to do next. Once we validate that ticket and make sure that ticket is all good, I'll go in the winner's room and I'll, I'll shake hands with them and I'll say, congratulations, it's you. Now we need to call and change your home phone number. Every real estate broker, car salesman, and securities broker in about an eight state area is going to want to become your friend right now. It's time to go underground. And then it's time to get your dough, cash, scratch, cheddar. So who counts the bills? That's how this works, right? I really think there are some people who come in and think that they're going to slide the ticket under the window and we're going to push big silver briefcases full of cash under the window after about five minutes. It does not work that way. The reality of the situation is after your press conference and 15 minutes of fame, after you get home and after you change that number, you'll get a wire transfer into your bank account. Probably a good idea to give the bank a heads up that it's coming. As for the age-old joke, Chip challenges winners to keep up appearances, at least for a little. I don't care how much you win. If you quit your job and all you have to do all day is sit around and think of ways to spend money, you're going to go through it. You're going to run through a lot of it. So to, to maintain some sense of normalcy in your life for at least six months, come up with a plan, put a team together, figure out how you're going to navigate this. It's going to work out for you a whole lot better in the long run. And Kentuckians don't have to play the lottery to get some of that cash. For the last 30 years, Kentucky high schoolers who get above a 2.5 GPA earn lottery proceeds for in-state college tuition through the Key Scholarship Program. The better they do in school, the more they earn. One out of five Kentuckians received grants and scholarships through lottery education assistance for a grand total of 2.43 million grants and scholarships awarded. In the studio, I'm Haley Minogue.